Hello Walnut students, I'm about to make Sancocho. Sancocho is the national soup of Panama. It's like what chicken soup is to the US, Sancocho is to Panama. And I'm about to get ingredients. The fresh Sancocho is made with many fresh ingredients. Sometimes it takes green bananas, sometimes it takes butternut squash, and no matter what you do, you have to have yuca. Sancocho without yuca does not work. Here's a good one. We'll put in a chayote too. Okay, so now I'm ready to start the sancocho. First thing is add salt to the water. Next, once you got the water going on to a hard boil, Put the chicken in. While the chicken is boiling, I'm gonna cut up some garlic and an onion. Those are the main ingredients that go in there, but of course, I will be adding cilantro, plantains, calabacita, or the Mexican zucchini, and chayote squash. I do have the yuca in the uh, butternut squash here. Now you got to make sure that um, these two ingredients don't go at first because otherwise they will boil uh, so much they'll fall apart. So at this point, just garlic and I'm about to add the onion and the garlic. I'm peeling now plantains. Now I'm cutting the chayote squash. The chicken now has been boiling for like 10 minutes and I'm going to add first the plantains and the chayote squash so they can soften up. Now I'm peeling the yuca, but to peel it, you must first cut it in small sections. Like that. It's really hard to peel. The sheath comes off. If you know how to do it right, grandma showed me. That's what you do. Sometimes you wanna cut it in half. I just poked the chicken and it's not bleeding and it's pretty soft so I'm going to add a few more vegetables like the zucchini and then the pumpkin or butternut squash. It's been boiling now, it's been boiling like 20 minutes or more so I'm going to put the yuca. I already put all the rest of the ingredients and you put this last on the last like 10 minutes of the soup boil because otherwise it just falls apart. Yuca tenderizes pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna also do a little bit more cilantro. I added a little bit for flavor, but um, you add a little bit more cilantro towards the end, and it's just like perfect. Sancocho is eaten all over Central America and even in some places in South America. We call it Sancocho, the Colombians call it Sancocho, and the Costa Ricans call it Sancocho. Uh, in other places like Mexico, and I'll probably other Central American countries, they just call it caldo. I added a little bit of fresh cilantro, and a good sancocho is always eaten with rice. The steak is extra. So I hope you learned something about Panama, and I hope you make sancocho someday. One more thing, my wife said, tell them about what, how they serve it in Panama or where they serve it. Well, everybody eats sancocho in Panama. In fact, we have a joke. You're not a Panamanian unless you eat sancocho. Uh, even McDonald's will serve occasional sancocho and we have a special fast food restaurant and that's one of their main dishes. Mmm, oh man, it is so good.